Alright, we start at race five. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Probably make it difficult to lay the line. One o'clock, just as we went into the start, the wind felt a puff out of south or the left, and then immediately shifting back to the right. New puff, come, new breeze coming in from the right. You can see Jim kind of punch out here, and then he's going to sail right into more breeze. And it looks like boat 74, the blue boat, if you could see it. Just gonna get in the breeze first. I would think he's gonna go back, from what I can see, I would think he's gonna go back to the right one more time, about <clears throat> halfway to the mark for where he is now. Jim's been pulling out these lefties all day. Wind's coming in from the right right now. And Jim's just getting the fresh breeze, but uh, It's Jim Black again, and, and um, with Jim Sears rounding the mark first, Jim Black just behind him. Probably have to kind of reach up from this to get into this, to our breeze. Yeah, that's what Jim's doing here. Fresh breeze coming in from the right. Which make me think you'll see him extend on the four tack out around this mark. That's Don Frax. Frax. Third, and then Mike Kreider in, in fourth, and then Don 200, Shirley. And I think that's Freddie 94. Fred. Yeah. Jim's just extending. Oh, just going now over to to starboard tack. And 
with the puffies getting lifted up. I almost attack right now. There he goes. New breeze coming down from the right. Just the auto attack for Jim. This puff, when it, if it reaches him, he'll lay that mark. Nope. The right back. And around good lead for Jim Sears right now. I think that's Don Frax in second. And then Jeff Black. All the way down to the lured mark right now. Okay, back to the leader, Jim Sears. I'll go to second and third place. Boat length before he went back to starboard. You might see John on 263 stretch it out a lot longer. This guy's got a big lefty came in. Thank you. 